If your mother decided not to have you, you wouldn't be alive. Why not do the same for your kids and give them a chance to live as your mother did for you? Don't you think you're a bit selfish? No, I don't think I'm a bit selfish because firstly, I am not my mother's life. As in, she had her own life to live and she lives her own life and has to make decisions for her own life. Children are not only just an extension of parents, but they live their own lives. We have autonomy. And this is the main problem of people that think that child-free individuals are selfish. People somehow think we owe it to our parents to make decisions on their behalfs. We don't owe our parents anything. We did not ask to be here. And in the same way that my imaginary children did not ask to be here, I'm making a decision not to have them. And there's nothing selfish about that decision because I know I'm not mentally, emotionally, and financially stable to even bring a child into this world. These are the type of comments that really show that people don't actually care about the well-being of children as long as they have them just to continue some obligation of legacy. A legacy that the most common person on earth cannot certify by leaving a legacy that will even last generations to come. If you're talking about a legacy, what about the people that have left all these monies in the world and have helped others to run charities? If you're talking about a legacy of children that will continue in the debt that you've probably left them in, what kind of legacy is that? And I'll say it again, children do not owe their parents anything children really don't even owe their parents success because at the end of the day you brought them in you decided to have that decision and it's quite selfish to think that just because you decide to have children doesn't make you selfish most of the reasons that people decide to have children start with I in all honesty I think being selfish is deciding to have children that you're not ready for deciding to have children that you cannot afford deciding to have children in an environment that is toxic or in a toxic relationship deciding to have children in the current economy we live in it takes about 90,000 rands in South Africa to raise a child, and that's not even based on luxuries. Deciding to have children when you have not broken generational patterns and generational curses in your family is quite selfish. So no, I don't think it's quite selfish to not want to have children, especially in the economy, the world that we live in, the SA and the violence that happens in this world, children being unalive for every sort of possibility and reason. I don't think it is quite selfish for us to not want children. It's actually most the most unselfish act because I'm not thinking only just about myself. Yes, most of the reasons are about self, but we do consider family dynamics, financial and emotional and mental stability, which I would say most parents don't even consider when they start to have children or want to have children at all. A lot of the time, most people that have children have taken big risks in order to have children. They've probably been irresponsible with their decisions and their boundaries and ended up in situations where they had children and they were not ready for them. 